Yo, what up? This is Kenny Dykstra, and you're listening to In Your Head Online. Yep. Hey, I got two quick questions. Um, but my phone's off to die, so I'll ask both of them real quick. Uh, the first one is, uh, how would it feel to wrestle in a Money in the Bank ladder match? Were you nervous going into it and whatnot? And then the second question I have real quick is, um, how helpful, helpful were the veterans like Simon Dean and Finn when you came off and first got me start in the WWE? Let's call in, Jason. Okay, I, I think the first question was the money in the bank. Uh, right. That was my first WrestleMania. <laughs> and um, to be right honest with you, my first WrestleMania, I was just, I, I was one of those people that were happy to be there. I had a I had a incredible cast around me, so I just tried to be in the right place at the right time and not screw up. So, so that was really really fun experience being in the money in the bank match. But then after that. Went to um, yes about the veterans. The veterans are incredible in the WWE, and that's one thing you have to. You have, I think some of the guys you have to get respect. You got to earn their respect. Some of the guys are more hardcore, and they and they like to keep the business really tight and protected. So you have to earn their respect. But there was a lot of people in there that helped me out tremendously. Uh, one of which that just comes to the top of my head, um, and I owe a great deal of uh, gratitude to is Booker T. He was one of the people that were right there the entire time. Him and then another person, Finley. I absolutely enjoyed working with these guys from the entire time I had. Uh, I was in the WWE. And then there were other people out there that, that also helped me out a lot. Simon Dean, one of the first people that I worked with. Um, Simon Dean, tremendous, tremendous worker, tremendous person. Um, then all the way through, I mean, there was people that helped me out. And, and that's what the WWE is about. It's like everybody wants to put on the best shows they can. So you have the veterans, the people that are still in the business right now, helping these young guys out in order to have a better show. And then we do that all for the fans. So everybody understands what the purpose is, and that's just to have the best show that you can. So everybody in there, and I hate to even leave anybody out. I mean, everybody from JBL, Undertaker has helped me out a lot. Triple A's came and talked to me from time to time. Even some of the people that are not really, really, really considered veterans, but are at, at different levels. Everybody's there so helpful. And um, Joey Mercury, he was somebody that helped me out a lot also. But there's so many people that I can think. Do you think uh, someone like Finley just being in the ring with him, like, improves you? Because I think that you were like, um, you could, like, see it on TV, like, you actually got a lot better in the ring just after your feud or during your feud with Finley. Finley can have a great match with a mop. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's incredible, man. I, I you know, someone's got a, a baby in the back. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Finley, on, sorry. Finley's just an, he, he's an incredible person and an incredible worker. I mean, if you ever, they always just say, if, if you ever want to learn how to how to work, how to be a, a great wrestler, watch his matches. Everything he does makes sense, and everything he does is correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is he is absolutely incredible. I, I had a feud with him for such a long time, and every time when I found out that I was working him in a match, fighting him in a match, I was I was I was on cloud nine because we can go out there and get physical and have great matches every time. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, we got Brian here on the line. Oh, hey, is this Bobby Lashley? This is. Hey, I had a question for you. First of all, I um, read that you um, served in the Army. That's uh, pretty cool because my uncle was a West Point grad who served in Vietnam, and I also had a grandfather who um, was in World War II in the Army. What I was wondering was how hard was training to be a pro wrestler as opposed to boot camp? I mean, did boot camp, like, get you prepared for it, or was was training to be a pro wrestler even harder than that? You know, it, that's kind of like comparing apples to oranges, man. But I tell you what, I, I went to boot, boot camp and I was an infantry soldier going into boot camp. So if you, if you want to go into the military and you're going to be in infantry, that's probably one of the tougher basic trainings to go through. And I think the one thing that it did help me out with, it, I developed <laughs> thick skin. <laughs> because um, one thing from training to become a wrestler, and you have, you have different steps in wrestling, and I think the, the one of the steps is coming from like Ohio Valley Wrestling, or, or now that they have Tampa, to being on the road. There's there's a there's there's a lot to learn, and then when you go on the road, it's not so. I don't want to say drill sergeants because I'm not going to say anybody's really hard on somebody, but you have to be able to be strong-willed, strong-minded because if you go on the road and you're still a kid. You can get crushed, <laughs> and you can get pushed out of the business really, really quick. Uh, the 
training was two different two different things. I was in I was in Fort Benning, Georgia, and I was there for four months doing basic training. I went to uh, my basic training in AIT, and then I went to OVW, and I was there for about a year and a half. So it's two completely different styles of training, but each were equally as tough. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for calling, Brian. Uh, let's see. we got James on the line. Hey, guys. Hey, Bobby. I have a lot of respect for you, and it's a pleasure to speak with you. Oh, my pleasure, man. I'm a big fan. Um, I have a lot of questions, but I'm just going to narrow it down to one question because I'm sure there's lots of people trying to explain. So I wanted to say the first time I seen you was at a Survivor Series 05. It was uh, Raw vs. SmackDown, that event. Um, I never really watched cool. SmackDown, but so that was the first time I really seen you, and I think that's the first time a lot of people probably seen you as a real main event player. Um, what I wanted to ask you was, did you enjoy that storyline of Raw versus SmackDown and being a part of it? And do you think um, they could have been more done with that so it could last longer? Because I thought it was a great storyline, but it, they could have done so much more with it and uh, made it last longer and done more with it. Were there any plans to um, do anything else with that storyline, and how did you enjoy it? I, I really liked it, man. It was it was a really cool deal. Um, you know, the, I think the hard thing with that one was is that Survivor Series is supposed to be the end of that that whole feud, so it's hard to kind of keep it going here in two different shows like that and two different schedules for the guys. But I think that would have been really cool to keep that thing going now that you said that. I never thought about it that way. Maybe that's a, a recommendation we need to pass on to the to the upper, the, the WWE, and have them continue going on, something like that. But, um, yeah, man, that was, that was incredible. I, I remember uh, just a little short little story on that deal is, is – I, it almost brought me back to being a fan when I was in the ring when that was going on because I was standing in the ring and everybody was coming out, all the different entrances were coming out. And I was one of the first few people to get in the ring. And I was standing in there and it was me and Ray and I was sitting there getting ready, you know, I was like, who's coming out, who's coming out? And then they had all these entrances come. And then I went from getting ready in the ring to almost standing still just like in awe watching it. And yeah. I remember Ray... Ray kind of like nudging me on the side and said, quit being a fan. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Time to fight. <laughs> but, man, I tell you what, if you ever have an opportunity to go to some of those shows, man, it's every part of the show is incredible. And the Survivor Series is incredible because you see some of the top guys doing what they do, and you get to see the entrances, you get to see the whole part of the story. So it is really fun. It's a really fun experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been at uh, Royal Rumble Live, and it, like you said, it's just awesome. Uh, you know, the countdown, everyone gets on the countdown, and then you don't know who's coming out, and you get to see all the entrances, and and you always get usually like a surprise guy will come out, so it's a great time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks for calling in, James. All right, thanks. Thanks yeah. a lot. Um, is there any uh, chance that you would actually return to professional wrestling? Of course, man. <laughs> I love I love professional wrestling, man. I, I really do. I um I don't know if, if if we can ever work something out and get back together. You know, I I, I don't think that I left um, with with bad intentions. I don't think I burned any real bridges. Hopefully, not if anybody's listening. I apologize if I did. <laughs> no, but I do I do enjoy wrestling, and, and even though I'm fighting MMA right now, um, I'm still planning on going to Japan and doing a little something in Japan, and, and maybe doing some shows from here to there because I do enjoy it and um, either when I'm finished with MMA or or um, or sometime through it if, if there's ever a chance to go back yeah I would definitely consider it mm-hmm. uh, let's see we got area code 503 I'm not sure the name who is this um, the sex with JT and I had a couple of questions for Bobby um, the first one was I was actually just actually on YouTube and I saw you uh, going through the cage I, I do believe it was at an ECW show and you actually had speared Umaga. What was that like? Jumping through that cage? Yeah. Is that what you, yeah, yeah. Oh, when he actually flew it, yeah. He did like the big yeah. jump. You know what? You know what? Um, jumping through that cage was, was crazy because that's one of those things where you have to just do it. There's no, there's no, there's no practicing. There's no nothing. That's just you have to do it. And then one thing, if you ever have a chance to get into a boxing ring or, or, or even a wrestling ring. You got to realize how high that top rope is, also. So for me, for me to even want to do that, I had to know that I could. After having a match with Bob Holly, which is a physical match every single time, I had to know that I would be able to clear that top rope in order to hit that cage and actually make it through it. So it was crazy. Uh, it was just a lot of adrenaline, and um, I just ran and, and went for it. 